so I have been painting on a lot of bugs recently. Um, I've been interested in painting insects as in pictures of them uh, for like a year now, but um, I recently became interested in actually painting directly on insects as my surfaces, so that's kind of where I'm at in my like artistic journey <laughs> right now. Um, so uh, with the scorpion, here's me unboxing it. I always get really excited when I get insects in the mail, um, and this time was no different, but the mailman was late today, uh, which was a bummer. Um, but here's me just carefully removing uh, this. I ordered this insect from the shop. Uh, I think it's Little Caterpillar Arts, but I'll double check and write it um, on the video. And um, that's where I got the scorpion from. Um, and I, I always get nervous when I open them because I'm worried that I'm going to like cut a leg off or something, but um, this guy was safe from me this time. Oh, I've never cut off a leg, I don't know why I said that. Um, but yeah, here's me just opening, opening him up. When I make videos on TikTok, I tend to just like use the stock voices um, and it's something that I want to get better at because I think that it adds a lot of personality to what I make, so trying trying to get warmed up to that um, with this video here. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like an epic fail. Um, you, you can see I'm like scared to pick up the scorpion, like I don't know how to do it, um, but I, I got a handle on it um, after I kept on impatiently checking it. Um, after it was rehydrating. When I rehydrate my specimens, I usually use the little um, container that I shoved off to the side, but it was too small for this one, so I had to move to a bigger container that I just had in my room. Um, and I basically soak the sponge in hot water and uh, the steam from it uh, fills up the container and loosens up like the joints and the muscles for all the, I almost said all the joints again, um, all the limbs. Um, so this is me impatiently checking it after four hours, I believe, and you can see that some things have gotten loose. The tail was actually broken in the mail, and I think that the, just like the water helped loosen it up and let me see that it was actually broken. So it went back into the rehydration chamber. This is me on Procreate on my iPad, uh, testing out like different ideas for what to actually paint on it. I was thinking like glow sticks um, or neon signs because they... Uh, I almost said cicadas, uh, scorpions glow under black light. So these were just some of my options. Um, but I ended up landing on none of these. Um, I was thinking about how they're arachnids and like the number eight. And I landed on the idea of like the magic eight ball and the answers on it. Um, so I'm thinking about doing like little, uh, blue triangles all over it. And then, uh, writing some stock answers on it. So this is me just like kind of making a rough guide for myself. I don't think I'm going to copy it exactly, um, but just making sure that it looks the way I like. Um, and then I go to pinning. This is the first clip in this video that actually has its own sound included that I didn't mute because I was working all day on my porch up until this point uh, with screaming children in the park behind my house and also my Zoom class going on in the background. So you can hear some uh, pin ASMR. Now, um, I have some specific insect pinning pins that I think are the brand pronounced Physius? Physius? I don't know. Um, but they're basically just stainless steel. And here's me fixing the crack or the break in the tail with just some Elmer's craft glue. You can use pretty cheap glue and it works just fine. Um, and I'm readjusting some of the legs. I open one of the claws and then I'm putting them into the position and then I'll let this dry overnight, possibly for another day and then it'll be ready to paint. So it's the next morning, um, I'm outside, so if you can hear birds in the background, that's why, and I'm just removing the pins from the scorpion. Oh my god, I can see Lightning McQueen in the corner? What? Um, jump scare. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is the finished scorpion. I can't work on it today because I have to go to school. Um, I go to school in Chicago at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. So this is just me on my walk there, leaving the train station. Um, 
I have two critiques this week. I have one that uh, for this day is my printmaking class that I made on the heat press and the needle felted. So here's all my works. And then I also included clips from the next day on Wednesday where I went to my painting class for my painting critique. So this is just what the inside of my school looks like. Um, and here's all my works for my like, I, I worked on these all um, the last half of the class, so we had two critiques, and this is what I made. And um, after I was in class, my mom texted me that my Luna Moth that I raised came out of its cocoon. So you can see that in just a second I took them out of the tent just to hold. Um, very cute. <laughs> um, and this is me going to actually do the first base layer on the scorpion. Um, I wanted to paint it black even though it already is black. I found that the paint kind of helps to hold all the joints in place. Um, so they're at less of a risk of being just broken off. So uh, my plan was to do two base layers of black and I just mixed my own um, using turquoise and I don't know what that red color is. Um, it's, it's so kind of like maroon. And it just makes kind of a nice like purple, but it's so dark that you can't really tell that it's not black. So um, it's kind of hard. Usually when I do taxidermy, if I just do something with an insect for my regular collection, I have a pin through the middle so I can anchor it in place. But with these, um, I don't want to have that hole from the pin in it. So it's kind of challenging to keep it in place. So you can see me just holding it down by its claws, but um, it tends to move around a lot once everything has paint on it because I don't want to get paint all over my hands. Um, it's me speeding it up. Um, it was, I had to be very, very gentle with the tail because I didn't want uh, to paint it like too roughly. Oh, there's an airplane flying above me. That's nice. Um, sorry about that. I don't, I don't want to paint it too roughly that it like snaps. Um, Here's my cat, Domino. He, I think he's kind of scared of the scorpion. Um, he was in like an earlier clip and he kind of just like walked away from it. I was concerned that he was gonna try and eat it. Um, but he didn't, so that's good. Um, in a second, you're gonna see me kind of struggle with keeping the scorpion in place. Uh, it kind of just wants to move with the paintbrush. Um, but yeah, so I end up doing this first layer and then in a second you'll see me paint the second layer on and then I'm just waiting for those to dry so that I can um, actually paint the eight ball designs on it. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, I, I'm recording this before I've done that portion of the painting and I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm a little worried. Um, not so much worried about painting the triangles because obviously I can do that but my handwriting is not the best and I also don't know how like just writing with like I think I'm gonna use like just a little Posca marker um, and I'm unsure about how the words were thrown out so if that is like awful I might have to rethink my plan for what I'm actually painting on this but um, here it is painted with the base layer black all done so here I go. I am um, very nervous about how this is going to go. Uh, maybe it shows in my video. I don't know. But I basically took my blue Posca marker and I sketched the triangles on the scorpion off camera. Um, just because I needed my reference that was on my iPad of kind of where I thought would be good places to put the triangles. Um, and then I start painting. I'm using just like ultramarine blue that I got from Blick um, because I figured it was a pretty good match to the color of the blue um, that you can see on the Magic 8 Ball toys. Um, so another airplane is blessing me with its presence. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty straightforward. Just painting uh, some of the little like, I don't know. I don't know names of scorpion body parts. I know that arachnids have like a head and then they have like a combined abdomen and thorax, but they, the scorpion at least has like these little segments basically of its body. Um, kind of, kind of like a millipede, but not because, because I think it's just covering the same, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So anyways, uh, some of the paint that was in the like crevices from those segments was not fully dry. So you can kind of see on the 
the big triangle kind of close to its head, how there's some dark showing through. Um, and then I figured that that was a little bit too flat. You know, when you shake that toy, it has like the colored alcohol in it um, that the dice floats in. So I wanted to kind of give it some depth and I think that it made the shapes a little more clear by adding this like lighter blue on top. So that was my thought process on that. And after, after I filmed this, I ended up enlarging them a little bit just because I didn't think that I was going to be able to write um, that small with the marker that I have. So I ended up just like widening them a little bit. Uh, I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, I ended up doing the lettering off camera just because I thought that I would be a little bit self-conscious and maybe write a little worse if I was filming. And also I was really unsure about how that part of the process was going to go, but here's me just varnishing it. Um, I'm actually using Liquitex gloss and varnish. Oh crap. That's, that's, <laughs> it's definitely not what it's called. Um, it's called the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish. Um, and that's just for my final layer to make it nice and glossy. I find that it's really helpful, even though my paint is glossy, that I use those Posca markers and they actually dry very matte. So it helps to give everything a nice uniform finish and also just helps to stabilize the joints of the insect a little bit more. Um, and here's, here's the final result. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I was a little bit, I was more than a little bit nervous about how the uh, words were gonna turn out, but I think, I think they're pretty good. And, um, I kind of have named this creature the fortune teller. Um, I think it's fun to kind of like turn a bug into a character. Um, so he could like tell you your fate and all that stuff. Uh, I, think, I, think it, I think it turned out really good. I'm super excited and I want to do more like this. So thank you guys for watching. I'm super excited that I was able to like make a video. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while um, and I think it was really fun. So maybe you will see me around on here more. Um, I've been doing a lot of these like insect type, uh, I always call them drawings, but they're really paintings. Um, and I, I want to keep on like exploring that idea, but I also do like more traditional paintings on like canvases and wood panels. Um, Another thing, I have a Patreon if anyone is interested in seeing some more like behind the scenes work. I do, like I said, these bug paintings, but I also do um, a lot of like painting process stuff. I have digital art, so I do that. Um, and then once summer starts rolling around, which is almost here, um, I do a lot of paper making outside on my porch and I make paper out of like stuff that I find around me. So like plants, I also do like recycled paper um, and I'm looking to make some seed paper this year and hopefully plant it and kind of document that process um, of it like actually growing. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check out my Patreon. I'll put the link in my description. Um, but also if you can't support me that way, I also have an art Instagram, so you can follow that as well. Um, it's Sammy Mark Art on Instagram and um, I love posting there. So thank you so much um, for watching and you know, feel free to like and subscribe as cheesy as it is to say that. Um, and I hope that I'll see you guys around. Thank you.